Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of EA Outdoors. Today, we're just going to be making a homemade feeder from one of these Coffee Mate bottles. Let's do this. This is real love. This is real love. This is real love. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of EA Outdoors. So, all the supplies you're going to need today are a dowel. It can be, like, as long as it's around this size, that's good. Um, you need some string. You need a coffee made bottle, of course. And a knife. So, the first thing we're going to do is wash out the coffee mate bottle. Now, all we're going to do, I've already done this, but I'm just going to do it quick is we're just gonna fill it up just put a little bit in so like right about there put the lid on screw it on tight and then just shake vigorously make sure you hold the cap down because that could pop off and shake vigorously and you want to do that about two or three times make sure everything's out of there and just rinse off all that okay so now this next step is optional here one sec This next step is optional. You can slit, you can use your knife and just take this wrapper off unless you wanna keep it classy and keep the wrapper on, which I'm gonna take it off, but anyway. So now you're just gonna try to get all the liquid you can out of there, just like that, okay? Now, time for making a feeding opening, okay? So you're gonna wanna put it about, about right here on the bottle. Um, you don't want to make it too big, but yeah, you don't want to make it too small. You want to put it in the middle so it can hold a decent amount of food down here. So I'm just going to dig, just like that. So that's just about perfect because really a bird's just going to stick its head in there. Okay, so step three done. Well, step four, basically. But uh, anyway, so now all we're going to do is we're going to poke a hole. Um say so if you can see here there's like a bunch of divots there's one two three four on the large coffee mate bottles i'm gonna make the slit between between the first and the second to the bottom i'm just gonna make it right below the hole we made there you go okay and then i'm just gonna make a tiny little extra one right there so that we can get the dowel in there and next we're going to do the opposite side so what you can do is use your finger like that to know straight where the other side is so i'm going to poke right here or you can just eye it like that and then you just poke it through i suggest not doing what i just did that was very dangerous now you just take your dowel Stick it through that one. <clears throat> Line it up with the other one. Stick it through, and there you go. Now we're gonna do the string. Now you are gonna need hot glue for this, so I'm gonna go get the hot glue done. Be right back. Okay, so we're gonna grab the hot glue gun. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to heat up, <clears throat> all we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up, or we're gonna poke like this. Which one should we do? Um, Let's poke like this. So we're going to line up. So as you can see, the dowel and the hole are lined up like this, right? So I'm going to go on the side. Here, I'm going to back up a bit so you can see. I'm going to go on the side, lined up, and poke through there. Up near this spot where it comes in here. Poke in through there. Now we have a small string hole. And I'm gonna line up on the very other side, do the exact same thing. There. Make another little spot for the string. And there we go. So we have string openings. And now we're going to need to, here, I'm gonna put the lid on. Um, hot glue gun. It's not warmed up yet. 
Oh, and while we're waiting, I guess we'll poke the string through. Okay, now this part can be tricky, um, unless you know what you're doing. So, <clears throat> we're going to need our string for this step. Um, so, it doesn't really matter which string you get, as long as it's strong enough to hold up a chickadee. I mean, you can use as much string as you want for your preference. I'm not going to use too much so that it's not too shaky in the wind. So, I'm going to use about that much. So, about about my arm's length so just like roughly what you'd prefer so now what we're going to do is we're going to feed it up in the bottle <clears throat> like this and we're going to see so we're just going to feed it into the bottle and then we're going to poke it through with the dowel so you can take the dowel out of the spot that you have it and then you can pull that through and then use the dowel and poke through the other hole. Just like that. Okay, and then once you got your string nice and tight, then you can tie it up up top. Um, I'm just going to use a simple square knot, which is, so you just make a simple overhand knot just like that. And then you don't tighten it, and you take another overhand knot above it. So, then you're just going to tighten that, and that should be good for that. So, we're just going to put it just like that. So, as you can see, we have it through the top of the bottle, and that's good for the string. Now, I think we can hot glue it now. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue there right where the string comes out of the bottle there. I'm just going to leave it there. Let that sit. And then do some on the other side. And just let that sit there, just like that. Okay, and now I'm going to do it with the dowel too. Just because we can. And we have the hot glue gun warmed up, so we may as well. So... Just gonna put a little hot glue in there. And remember, you gotta make it the way you want it and the way you want it to stay, because once you have it like this, there's no going back once you hot glue it. So, just like that. Get it on the back. On oh, another quick tip, you just wanna, uh, you wanna leave a bit out the back just for convenience sake, just in case it does slip through a bit. So now, you're just gonna leave that. I'm going to pull my string so that they point up, just like that. Put the lid on, <clears throat> and we're pretty much ready to go. Then I'll fill that up with my favorite seed. So what I'm going to scoop it in with is this uh, scoop I made from a Sunny D jug. As you can see, you can pretty much fit it into any space and pour in just like that. So. I'm going to be using black oil sunflower seeds for my feed. So all you do is just fill up the back just like that. You mold it to the way you want. Put it in the hole and pour. Oops. Pour too fast. Okay. Oh boy, it's making a mess. Just so it's not going to spill out too much. And there you go. You've got a nice bottle feeder made from stuff that you most likely will find around your hoe, house and if anything you can always use something else than a dowel if you scrummage around in your house you can probably find something else to use so there you go guys now i'm gonna go set it up outside so close that up um so what all i'm gonna do is this is our front porch i think i'm just gonna set it up on that hook right there so let me see if i can get a good view of it here Oh, that's perfect. Okay. There we go. There. Perfect. The chickadees will love that. 
make sure uh, I'll put a little uh, put a little circle right about there for you to click on to subscribe make sure you click that and I'll put a playlist right here for you guys who like my DIY bird guy stuff and then I'll put my latest video right here so thanks for watching see you next time peace this is real love this is real love